power distribution companies said as at the time of filing this report that they have not received any directive from the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission on tariff suspension. The discos are confused about the decision of the federal government and labor unions as regards the reversal of the hike in electricity tariff. According to some senior officials of power distribution companies, they are waiting the neck to come up with a new tariff plan to be implemented within the two weeks as agreed by the federal government and labor unions. Also, sources at the commission confirmed that although there had been prolonged meetings on the matter at the NEC headquarters in Abuja, no order had been sent out to DISCOs. And we are now joined by uh, Umundaka Wunodi, an uh, energy expert. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Do you think the government was hasty taking the decision uh, without carrying the discos along? Well, I, I, I think um, it, it's difficult to see how the discos would have been uh, in the room in this discussion between government and labor. So uh, saying whether the, um, uh, the government was hasty uh, in taking decisions without uh, the distribution company might not just be the um, uh, the best way that I will cast it. I, I think that one of the things that uh, needed to be said is that, yes, further consideration should have been taken about how this would affect uh, affect the uh, the industry going forward. And uh, we're seeing a, a little bit of uh, some confusion in the in the sector on this. And would you all say say the a uh, decision was uh, business oriented or was it just a political gimmick as alleged in some quarters? I think it's more political than business because uh, the, uh, the organized private sector of the Le Lagos Chamber of Commerce came out uh, strongly to say that uh, they would not like to see uh, the reversal of going back to subsidizing uh, electricity and uh, uh, PMS to the extent that government could save that money and put it in more sustainable areas of the economy like um, infrastructure, health, and education. Uh, so uh, I think that it, uh, it's more political than economic. Uh, of course, um, there are citizens and consumers who definitely will feel the pinch, but if the savings uh, are used effectively and efficiently, I think it's better for the country going forward. So yes, it, um, I, I, I'm not sure that the economics of it for the country is, uh, is much better. Uh, there are concerns about the plan too. Uh, is this a case of robbing Peter to pay Paul or Pennywise pound foolish, remove oil subsidy, then pay subsidy on electricity tariff? You know, the, uh, and first and foremost, let me say uh, something about your opening statement. I, I think uh, overnight, we've seen on Twitter that uh, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has actually issued out an order to the distribution companies on suspension of the tariff. So that is out there now. It's dated 28th of September. We're not sure whether it's just dated to correspond with when the agreement was reached uh, between government and labor or when exactly uh, NEC uh, issued the order, but it's on Twitter now uh, on the NEC handle that, uh, yes. Well, um, you know, this case of robbing Peter to pay Paul, I, I think there is something that a lot of people miss. Uh, the fact that you have electricity subsidy, it goes to the people who actually receive electricity and consume electricity. And disproportionately goes to uh, the more affluent who have more electrical appliances uh, in their homes. There are another 100 million Nigerians who are not connected to the grid. And these are actually the more struggling uh, sector of our, of our population. So when you introduce tariffs, there is another 100 million people, I mean, uh, subsidies in, the, in electricity, there's 100 million Nigerians, 50%, who are not connected to the grid. So they are not benefiting from you know, the subsidy. And they actually are the ones who might need more help than every other person, if you understand what I'm saying. So to a large extent, there is people, the poor that is being robbed are actually the, you know, the worst off in our society. 
who are not even connected to the grid at all. And of course, now you're talking about uh, uh, the people. What would you say needs to be uh, done in the next uh, two weeks to address this uh, confusion? Um, do you think that you know the, the NARC needs to ensure that these discos uh, um, actually um, um, revert to the former tariff? Or, and of course, um, what in the bigger picture must be done before the next meeting with the government? I think that the very first thing is that if people appreciated this new structure of the tariff, uh, there would have been different ways to address this, right? Because now we have uh, service level tariffs that actually um, geographically based. It is possible to isolate the populations and the clusters where you have the uh, less well off to do and then provide them electricity credits instead of reversing the tariff. Because what is done now is uh, there is confusion in the market. There are people who have already gone out and purchased uh, credits uh, in a prepaid manner. So what is going to happen to those people? They, they already have their units. How, how do you go back and roll back? How do you go and roll back uh, the payments they've made? And then the vending platforms uh, by the distribution companies uh, need some time to uh, refine, retune. So the, 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 the first thing though is to find out how much will this cost the government in terms of a uh, subsidy and then how it's going to pay for that and the best way to implement it. But it's, uh, it's confusing, I must say. I, I, I being here cannot tell you, uh, I'm not in uh, the distribution company or uh, the regulator, but what I can tell you is that it's a lot of uh, uh, confusion on how to uh, take care of this. This reversal, is, is it possible in the time frame that will be given? Um, I, I didn't quite get that. Is it possible within uh, The time two weeks? given, like, uh, I mean, it's supposed to be immediate, given that two weeks is the time for negotiation and then we'll get a resolution at the end of that two weeks. Will they be able to reverse it almost immediately so that people don't feel the bite? No, I, 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 that's exactly what I'm saying, that it's, uh, it's challenging. So if you had bought uh, credit for the, for the month of October uh, or for a month going forward, there is no way uh, that you can go back and prove to the discos and it, it's challenging. So, and then you have vending platforms that will take about three or four days to, to reconfigure. So I, I do not see how this could be mediated. And that's why I said that to a large extent, it, it's political, it's very difficult to implement. And there could have been other ways to do this. And you could have identified, isolated the clusters where you have struggling consumers and then send them electricity credits. You know, if that's exactly the same thing, but the way uh, this is being done, it's, it's going to make it very challenging for the industry. So it's, it's, it's going to be more optical than really re than a real solution. All right, let's also do a follow up on a statement you just made that there uh, could have been better ways to do it. And let, let's also talk about the strike again. Do you think labor got a good deal? Uh, because the cry out there is that labor betrayed uh, the people. I'm not sure whether there is a good deal the, the, or a bad deal about this. The important thing is that, you know, we all knew that this tariff, it was suspended in March, which meant that it, sh it would come up sometime. And uh, it was going to come in July, it was suspended. I think there was an ample window for labor to have engaged the NERC and the discos and not wait till this moment. This is disruptive, I must say. Right, because at the end of the day, you know, the, the investment climate is shaking, is unstable. And if you don't get investments in the long run, consumers and the nation will not see this electricity or any of these uh, services. So uh, a disruptive mechanism like this, is not very helpful for everyone. Uh, that's the honest truth. So whether the deal, there's a good deal now, the deal is probably and most likely going to be short term. In the long run, uh, we all have to pay for it, one way or the other. All right, uh, Mr. Rumundaka Wonodi, thank you very much uh, for sharing your thoughts and your time with us under breakfast. Thank you. All right.
Uh, Osage, I, I don't know uh, what you make of his submission, the confusion here. Should we have that kind of situation now? Considering that this is not something that's new. It's taken a while to have conversation, have meetings, yeah. and then we're still here. Doesn't seem like we're moving forward or moving back. So, so and one thing that I would point out uh, for me is, you know, regardless of all the confusion, wherever the conversation is going, um, I still don't hear a conversation that says how we are going to bring in more people on the, uh, into the power grid and you know, how we're going to have more registered customers and consumers. Because like what he just mentioned, there's more than 100 million people who are um, not on the grid. Um, there's more you know, people who are, um, there's less people on the grid than there are you know, people on the grid. You know, we're, we're not having a conversation yet on how we're going to bring more people on the grid, how we're going to have more of these consumers, the poor Nigerians, you know, to be registered and to know how much power that they are using and all of that. How are we going to ensure that more people are metered so that they can also, um, you know, um, take charge fully of the amount of electricity that they consume. So that it's, it's a whole, it's a, it's a system that is just, you know, really, really messy. What we are doing now is mostly just trying to get more money from those who consume electricity. But we're not fixing, I don't hear a conversation about actually fixing the problems with regards to electricity in the, in the country. Well, let's see what happens in the coming days. Uh, we have two weeks before exactly. we get to hear whether the price will remain or that hike will be reinvented. We'll follow up. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.